What's up everybody, it's Trish and this is the fourth episode of Fish Play. In this series, we play a bunch of our favorite community made maps and we talk about them a little bit. We also show you a few moments from our community play dates where we play with the community every week. If you want to know more about that, we'll leave the comment information in the description box down below. Um, this week we went back to Steam and that's the footage you'll get. And now, let's go to the maps. The first map is Parkour PvP V.0.01 by Temi. This is a parkour map, just like you can see right here. Um, it's just a few platforms, there's not, it's, quite, it's kind of small in that sense. But, I mean, the fun is that you can make everyone fall. And you have to shoot while you're jumping in on middle air. So that's that's what you get. So I got like ice under me and that was an issue. Um, then I tried to shoot people from the distance and it didn't work because Carl hit me. Well not Carl, that's actually not Carl. But then yeah, trying to get the revenge didn't work again. Um, that was George by the way. He's actually one of the best ones at this game that we get. Yep. This is Das Hotel by Saboteur. Um, in the, as the name say, says, it's a sort of hotel map and you get like a rocket launcher since the very beginning which is a really good weapon. If you know how to use it. I am not... I mean, it's one of the weapons that I do best at, but I end up hurting myself a lot and I'm the kind of person who usually sets the the game to no, no respawn for enemies and I forgot here, so I had a hard time trying to get further on this level, but it's definitely a really good map. Um, I, tr I had... I like the design, we all like the design when we saw it and I think in that sense if you were a good map, this is it, this is a good one. The third map is X Cutter X Lost Lands by X Cutter X. Um, this is one of the maps that we that were nominated for a community competition. Um, we'll show you that probably in our next video, a bit more about it, but yeah, um, it has different uh, platforms uh, with different weapons, not many actually, and to get some of the good ones you have to like land in very specific places and not die in the process, there's a few traps in this map as well, and as you can see I tried, okay I got a boat, and it was running and I, I actually did really poorly at this map because a lot of the uh, weapons, in, uh, well, a lot in, like aiming was hard and there you go, I, I take a long time aiming so just sometimes I just try stuff like with punches and things that were like a little bit more like um, melee than <laughs> aiming <laughs> even if I had the option of getting certain weapons like here, but I died anyway. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's one of those maps that has a nice design. Um, I think we all like how it was designed and how you have to like, well, pretty much fight to get the stuff that you need. And yeah, we played this with a lot of our devs. They all like it. I can tell you that much. But we can say anything else about it, so you'll see. This is Galactic Doom by Edward Sky 457. Um, it's pretty much a death cage. Um, you just get a lot of good weapons and there's a lot of enemies that are going to attack you like since the very first moment you spawn them up and even when you respawn they will keep attacking you and you're just trying to like running and getting stuff and getting ammo back and it's quite challenging in that sense I love this kind of map it just allows me to shoot everything inside everything the more stuff that I have to shoot 
the better for me. I, I think that that's true for a lot of us. We just want to like kill stuff. And then you have like, yeah, you have bosses too. Um, this one that was like really annoying. I couldn't shoot it, it just kept moving. And then all the stuff tried to kill me. But there you go. Some of the weapons are really good and I, I just kind of got close and got careless. That cost me my life a few times. But it's just the fun of shooting stuff. And I got him almost. This is Burgal Bedlam by Random Phantom. And he's also it's also another um, nomination by the by the community uh, competition. And there we go. One, two, this is the third one. Come on. Come on, don't run. There we go, come on. Oh, took me a few attempts, but I managed and on me there. And there we go. I'm gonna get four kills here, which is a record for me. Uh, but yeah, this is the map that I did actually did well at. Um, I just kind of kept killing people, and that's a novelty for me. But yeah, it combines a lot of different. Um, areas and types of like places like an ice and then you have this futuristic and the city and like sort of um, underground place and I think that was one of the best things like the design it was just so complete and an app that you get places to hide places to to, to shoot from it, in that sense it was really good and I I know that it got a couple of votes from our devs, I can't say anything else like I said before, but you'll see later how it did, but yeah, it was one of those good maps, we enjoyed it a lot. This is Deathmatch 1 by Matt Holf, Holf and F. It was also a nomination and as you can see it's like um, these different platforms that are just like towers or plat with different platforms and then on in the middle there's this like pool of acid which is pretty cool because sometimes you just run into it. Um, but yeah, there has a nice variety of weapons as you can see. and. People are shooting you from everywhere. You are not, you are not really sure from there where they are shooting you from. Um, I tried my best at this map, but I didn't really do well on it. Um, but yeah, I tried, and I still had a lot of fun in it. I know that a lot of our devs had fun with this map as well, and sadly we can't really talk about it until we post the results for the competition but you can see a little bit of it right now and I got killed I was trying to get a nice shot for this video and I got killed but a fun map and last but not least we have SLR Kurosawa by Storm now this besides having the very Japanese name also has a nice Japanese design with this kind of feudal Japan kind of houses I would say or towers um, with weapons that go according to the area too and a few weapons that, like secret weapons that you can get um, if you explore the place um, I tried to get one but I couldn't I know that one of my um, teammates they, they did they got it but yeah, uh, you have like the houses and then this kind of Japanese garden, I would say. And um, there we go. I got killed by the eagle. Seriously. Um, but yeah, it's one of the the design. The design of this map really impressed us. I think a lot of us were commenting about how like intricate the design is, which is why we like the most, I guess. And also it's quite fun to play on it. It just has like a nice variety of places to explore and everything. So definitely one of those maps that we're gonna go back to. And that's it. Thanks for watching. We hope you guys are having fun with these videos. 
um we're gonna try to like um change him a little bit later on just to see what you guys like or not and also tell us what you think about them um how we can make them better if you want and please send us your favorite maps as well and we'll see you next time with more maps bye